Okay, so what is an angle in standard form? Well, you know, we talked about angles, and you, you probably have a history of angles. And, you know, angles can represent, you know, kind of anything, right? You could have obtuse, uh, acute, you could have straight, and they can all be in all different, uh, different shapes, sizes, and, and, and directions. So we needed to come up with a standard form of an angle. And the standard form of an angle is when, if we look at our Cartesian coordinate system, all right, our standard form is we're going to have an initial side on our x-axis. And it's going to be the x-axis between quadrants 1 and 4. So this is going to always be our initial side. We're all, this is going to be your initial side. You can kind of say where you're going to start. So whenever we measure an angle in standard form, we're always going to start with this as our initial side. Then we're either going to go in the positive direction or we're going to go in the negative direction. So in standard position, moving up counterclockwise is positive direction. And moving down um, clockwise is going to be negative direction. And the other important thing to notice is that in standard form, you have an initial and you have a terminal side. And just like the definition of angle, the distance between our initial and our terminal side is going to be our value of an angle. Now remember, the value of the angle can never be negative. However, we can have a negative direction for that value. All right. So we have initial and a terminal side. Um, that is going to be your standard form. Just make sure you know when the direction might change your angle from being a positive direction or a negative direction. So that's standard form of an angle. Have any comments or questions? Please let me know below. Thanks.